The final pre-launch stored commands are now being loaded aboard. And the pilot is being directed to activate switches to connect the fuel cell essential buses. Next activity. Mother Nature has taken her shot. Now it's our turn to fly. Have a good one. OTC, PLT, the essential buses are connected to the fuel cells. Copy. PLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Firing chain is now being activated. Steering checks of the three main engines are now underway. Start position. Fuel cells now on internal reactants. Atlanta, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Atlanta, Roger. Caution warning has been clear. There were no unexpected errors. Copy. Deal with go for ET LH2 pressurization. Sound suppression water system has been armed. Three main engines reported ready for ignition. One minute. Final check now of the solid rocket booster commanding. Forty-five seconds in counting. Forty-five seconds to launch. ET helium inject, Delta P number two. Standing by for the handoff. We're go. Copy. And the handoff has occurred. Ground loss sequencer has handed off to Atlantis's onboard computers. Twenty-five seconds. Sales and pressure water system is activated. 15 seconds in counting. 10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. All systems in good shape. Engines throttling down as Atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower air atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Houston, Atlantis, go at throttle up. Go 
One minute, ten seconds into the flight, the three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, thirty seconds, all hydraulic systems in good shape. The electricity producing fuel cells also in excellent shape as Atlantis heads downrange. 18 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 18 miles. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters, which are burning propellant at a rate of 11,000 pounds per second. SRB separation is confirmed two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 3,000 miles per hour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 46 miles, altitude 35 miles. Ignition of the twin orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the orbiter providing an additional boost toward ascent and heading off toward the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, two-engine tow. Copy, uh, two-engine tow. Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single-engine failure. However, all three engines are continuing to perform as expected. Hydraulic systems in excellent shape, as are the fuel cells producing the electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is 97 miles downrange at an altitude of 51 miles, traveling 6,000 miles per hour. Atlantis, negative return. Roger, negative return. Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three are continued to perform well as are the hydraulic systems and the electricity producing fuel cells. Atlantis, press to ATO. Copy, Houston, press to ATO. Five minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines now, should one fail. However, all three are still performing as planned. Five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads-up position, the onboard guidance system putting Atlantis on our trajectory toward the International Space Station. Atlantis, single engine, Zaragoza 104. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza 104. And that call uh, means that Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. Press to Miko. Copy, Houston, press to Miko. And that call uh, indicates Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now, all three continuing to perform as expected. Your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Copy, Houston, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. The flow of fuel from the external tank into the three space shuttle main engines is equal to that of draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Copy Houston, single engine press. And that call from Tony Antonelli here in Mission Control indicating Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine now should two fail. All three engines are still performing as expected, approaching seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis is traveling 19,000 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 640 miles, altitude 64 miles. 